What is up, gang? We are back on Project Quorum on the 42 Necro. Fresh 42. Um, I had dinged 42 in the previous episode, or maybe two, I think two episodes ago. But in the last episode, <clears throat> I was with Marrow, and we died to that brownie. And I had uh, de-leveled, so. I killed a couple of guards here. We are in Grob. I almost said Guck. And uh, <clears throat> killed a couple guards here, got my level back. The landscape here is garbage. Uh, but the guards are pretty uh, pretty crazy. So the first guard dropped a long sword, which we know. The sisters drop on Sister's Isle. It's worth up to 11 plat, depending on your on your uh, faction and like charisma. He also dropped a fine still morning star, which is worth like five plat. Dropped a shield. These are the same shields we always see. They're worth 1.2 gold, uh, 1.2 plat. They dropped these intestine necklaces, which are also worth like 1.6 plat. And then he dropped ivory, which is worth five plat. The second guard dropped all the same stuff. Dropped amber instead of ivory. Did not drop a fine steel though. So we got another one here. Now it's really funky. I don't have anywhere to run. This is one I wish I had my root and I'm kind of realizing I don't have it. I think I got it at 35, but I don't have it. I suppose I could bust out of fear. Go back to fear kiting? That's a little garbage. But I might need it. I might need it. Because I don't have anywhere to run, kind of. There's no, like, guards in the me immediate area. As long as I don't get any resists. We'll get him with a fear right here. Oh, we're not going to make it. Oh, ho, ho, we are going to make it. Got a couple more dots to put on him. Then we're gonna hit him with another fear. What? What is my hotkey for fear? I don't even know. Is it seven? So we hit him with a fear again. We are gonna put on our ledge. I don't want him to go too far that way. He's gonna grab a friend. I gotta let. I gotta let his. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we can't do that. He is too close. I didn't think he was that close. So we just wasted a bunch of mana. Anyways. Let's see if the other guy comes back around this way. He's got a lot of dots on him. I don't know what he's going to do. If he comes back this way, maybe we can continue engaging. His life is going up. I might just have to wait it out. Let me wait it out and we'll we'll redo this. All right, this is super duper wonky. So I'm wondering if I should just throw the pet on him with taunt on and everything and just get the first one down to give me a little a little bit of room. I think the I think the respawns are about 10 minutes on this server. I want to give a shout out to RT81. Bought me a coffee. That's what's up, dude. Super supportive in the comments and all that. Threw me a coffee, so I do want to give a cheers. Cheers, my dude. Super nice of you. And I appreciate it more than you might imagine. Super awesome. Keep me going. Keep me going. All right. So we'll give this guy another shot. Let's see where, where the taunt is. Taunting attackers. Okay. I think we might just do that. Maybe we'll just blow this first one up. Is that him? Oh, shit. All right. We're doing it. We're doing this live. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work out. I don't know if I caught the final frame there. But this dude just keeps training the zone. 
Oh man, that blows. Like he said, sorry man, fucking brutal RNG. I don't know. He's having a tough time. He's an enchanter. And he's trying to do enchanter things. And it's not working out. He keeps training the zone, and I'm at the front of the zone trying to kill mobs. So I died and I de leveled again. Um probably gonna have to just come up with somewhere else to go. It's too crazy. Like a bunch of people came in there, two enchanters and some other anonymous person. And it just got a little too busy for a small place. So, uh, I don't know. I'll go get my corpse and get my level back and figure it out. Um, this box of Abu car is crazy. Like, some people are trying to sell it for 4k, and then this guy's like 1k OBO. Uh, the mage bought it for 700 plat last night. Because he just, he's been having pretty much the same experience as me. He doesn't want to go in that zone for any reason. He'd rather just pay for it and not go in that zone. That's where I'm at. Um, Alright, well, let me get a sew and go get my body and figure out what's next. Alright, we're getting a 90% res. And we redinged. I was gonna say shit happens. Uh, cause it does. But I'll wait for him to say something. Um, you know, he trained me. And he got a guild or something to come give me a res, so. All is good. Shit happens. As they say. It's actually a different guild. Um, he bought me a res. Nice. Um, but I decided I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna bail from here. I think it's too tight of a spot. I, so I, what I actually did when I paused it is I, I ran to the shaman guild. Unin I ran invis. I uninvis bought the root spell because the vendors are cool with me. Reinvis, ran back out. Attempted to root rot one to see what's what. He, he ran into trouble. Ran for the zone line. Called out train, but too little too late. And I got taken out. I tried to faint out. They didn't believe me. So we'll tell him, no, it's all good. Shit happens. It's not every day people clean the shit up. It's appreciated. <clears throat> uh oh. Um, but Project Faceless. I do talk to a couple couple guys in there. They watch videos and stuff, and they reach out. Um, so I do talk to a couple people in there. Old Dirty Socks is in there. They get a lot of they get a lot of bad rap, you know, as does every like top guild of the server. Every server you go to has a top guild. And every top guild on every server gets a gets a lot of bad rap and stuff. But there's there's good people in there doing good things. So shit happens. Thanks, dude. And I'm leaving the camp to him, so I will tell him. And I'm gonna zone out over here. It's a little bit safer on this side. And uh, we'll figure out what else to do, and we will see you when we figure it out. We're with the other Necro, and my Necro. And we're getting buffed by Cleo. Thanks, Cleo. Big shout out. Getting that regen, regen and a real so. I feel like a real boy. It's gonna help out a ton. Right? Your pet doesn't proc anything yet. What'd you say? Does your pet proc? Uh, I don't know. Proc what? Probably life leech at some point. No, I don't know if that's in classic or later on, but the yeah, like the um, 
I think it's later on. I think it's in Velius, or it might be in Kunark when you get the uh, the a Spectre pet. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me take this off for a while and regen that health. So we are level 42. And, uh... Oh, he's buffing the pets. It's too much. Massive... Th Oop. Thank you. I gotta, f okay. I gotta adjust the volume on my microphone because it picks up the keyboard too much. Try to position it and turn it down so it doesn't pick up as much. Something for me. I'm scared. What is it? Crown of the Froglock Kings. What? Dude. Oh, crap, look at that monostone action. Monostone screw canny. I don't got time for that. I wonder if you could do the power canny monostone canny. I'm sure you can. I gotta try that out. What's that? When did they get that? What are we talking about? When does the pet start procking shit? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Did, did I not hold down the button? I think it's like Velius or Kudark yeah, or something. Yeah, you said or something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I can't I have to find look it. it like, I'm looking for it now and I can't, I don't see it. Just give one more cheer. Let's stand up for that. Dude, big time. What does my pet con do? Jabober. Oh, he's light blue. We can do it. Jabober. Jabober. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. He is. <clears throat> so, um, okay. So we're level 42. And uh, we're teaming up at the guards, 35% oh, in. He's the even lower pet for me. He's gonna get uh, really good XP because oh, he's like 30. He's 36, so these are like level 40-ish. He's gonna get really good XP. Um, whereas I'll get decent. The corn guy is coming by. I spoke about him before. He's gonna be blaring a horn for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. We're not doing anything anyways. But this guy's gonna take like five minutes to pass by and just keep honking this horn, so uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Why do you run? Just run uh, Oh, he resisted. Uh, I cast him. Um. Okay, you want to get him? He resisted me, but he's on me. Actually, I put my pet on him. Resisting yeah, they resist that one a lot. We just got to get him on one of these. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm showing him the ways of the dwarfs that hate you forever. I got my lich on, I do. A regen on two, right? Chloro only six more minutes, I'm sad. Um I only have to do one round of buffs or debuffs now because we can send our pets in right away since we're in a group he's actually adding buffs uh debuffs as well dots is what i'm trying to say shout out to seekers of souls as well it's the guild cleo's in super nice dude <clears throat> we'll probably go hang out with him um in a future episode when i get a little a little bit higher holy shit what the fuck oh no oh no somebody trained me ah some dude ran by and a guard just got on me. I don't know. I think he trained me. Uh, He's fucking red. I got a feign death over here. He's red to you? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, let's turn off Lich. Is your pet? 
You could call. I don't know where he's at. He's probably he's coming back to me, but I'm gonna tell him to not do anything. No, but I mean, the, oh, he's the over mob. here. I don't know where the mob's at. Did we probably kill him by now? I think we killed him. No, that yeah, that mob's dead, but the one that. Oh no, he's at, he's over here by me. Oh, okay. He's walking back to his spawn now, but he's res. So I'm not trying to engage with him. Oh, Cleo was asking if the pet's proc. I just saw that. It's right in front of my face this entire time. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought you were asking. He said he was going to give them a dex buff if they can, but I just was, I wasn't looking at that chat box. So I hope this guy doesn't aggro when I stand up, but there's a big chance that he's going to. Is he still there? Uh, he no, he's, he's walking back home, but... Oh, just wait for him. Man. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Um, whoops. Is that your light source, I see? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to probably have to wait for this guy to walk all the way back to the docks, because he's just going to run at me uh, over and over again. These dwarves are acting, they've been acting crazy for a while, so. We do want to go and kill this other guard that's over here. The one that I kill... Uh, when I killed, like, the sisters that are at the rune stones. Or I think somebody called them the tombstone. Those are big-ass tombstones, if that's what those are supposed to be. Need to med up now, too. I got clobbered. I don't even know if I have the mana to go kill that other one. Uh, I suppose we could just... Honestly, we can pretty much just uh, snare them and put a life leech and that's it. No other dots and just let the pets beat on them as they chase us. I would like to think that the guard's not going to come after me anymore, but I feel like I know better than that. Let's see. I'm going to meet him right at the crest of this and he's going to kill me. My right okay. click isn't working. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Um, F9, I think it is. No, I lied. Uh, F12? F12, try that. If that doesn't work, I've had it happen to me a couple times on this yeah, server. Yep. Okay, cool. I've had it happen to me a couple times where it's not that. It's not the issue, and I just I log out and log back in, and it fixes it. I don't remember hitting that. Maybe when I hit backspace. Maybe when we're panicking! Yeah, where's the fucker at? He, he went back. He stopped chasing me, so I'm sitting in the spot. So actually, we're not going to go kill the other one uh, because of that craziness happened. I did, I'm glad that I caught it. Oh, I'm getting some heals. Let's go. Got one minute on Chloro, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's gone forever. So, um... I'll go ahead and pause it here while we met up. We're not going to kill the other one. But then when I unpause it, we should kill both of these and then go kill the other one and have more of uh, something, you know, some sort of substance here. Let's see our XP. So we're only at 36%. So even duoing is like a massive nerf to XP. But, um, you know, it's cool to hang out. And we're going to kill three, which is something we can't do. When we solo, we kill two. And even that is kind of, at some point, you feel like you're getting behind. Um, at least killing these two at my level. They're supposed to be level 40. I'm level 42, so they resist a lot. But um, we're going to be killing three, and it should be easy <laughs> as long as we don't run into complications. There's always going to be the complication of them hating our guts the second they spawn. But besides that, it should be all right. There's two of us, so whoever they're running at can just run away, and then the other one snares them, so it's perfect. Um, anyways, we'll pause it here for a bit. We'll met up, and then uh, when they spawn... I will try to remember to unpause it. Okay, we got him snared. Um, I'll just get, to get my pet on. Forget. And we'll get Skelly Farm. I'm gonna use, mm, yeah, I'm gonna use a little less dots and let the pet do more work since we're in a group. I need to buff my pet. Check out my pet. 
Give your pet two weapons, I guarantee it will start doing way more damage. Break down. Give my I'll, pet I'll 10 platinum? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll do it. I want to buff my pet, but you're out here. Oh, he's kind of going after you. Sit down again? No! <laughs> I'm going to call my pet back. It's like a buff him. Oh, he's busy. Duh. All right, so we're gonna give the pet <clears throat> a couple of axes. I'm such a cheap, I'm such a cheap ass that I don't like doing it, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so this next one should get wrecked. Our pets are buffed. They even have some shaman buffs. Excuse me. And now they are both wielding weapons. So now what I can do is just leave Lich on and then <clears throat> minimally dot. I'm going to use my Leech dot and maybe I'll just hit him with a... Wait, what do I have here? Oh, Screaming Terror. We'll drop that. Nice. Turpentine sees a... Oh. It's coming for you. Jeez. I don't, but they're buffed and they're weaponed. Weapons. Yeah, <clears throat> a lot of damage. Yeah, they are. Your pet is smoking them. Yeah, look, yeah, he's tearing them up. It's so, so much lower already. If we <clears throat> sit down, we should keep aggro, I guess. Yeah, my pet's almost dead. Yeah. But there we go. What? Why is he not running? What the hell? What the hell's going Oh, because the pet's low. Shoot. Oh, shoot! Don't kill my pet! Right, find still great staff. Gerber. Alright, let's go kill this other one. What was I gonna put that? Oh, yeah. I need to bust that out. So this is the red guard that was on me earlier. This one, I think. Or it was Clendon. I thought it was Clendon. Oh, somebody's killing this guard, I guess. Alright, well. He usually stands right here at this... People are calling it Tombstone. So, oh well, I guess. I wonder what level these are, though. They might just be 50. Well, 
I don't know, maybe not 50 is too high, right? Well, I mean, they're at least 45. So maybe 50 isn't too high. Pull them and find out. That means we're going to have quite a bit of downtime, but whatever. You run back. I'll run back there and check again. So we're going to have quite a bit of downtime with this camp. Um, the Bilgum sisters right down here, right down this way are camped. The Tombstone or Runestone sisters over there are camped. Yeah, I'll turn off Lich. Or, yeah, I'll go live tap something. I got a mem live tap. And then also that guy over there is camped. So mostly everything is kind of camped right now. This guy's gonna, just walking around over here. He's gonna range me. What's well, walking around? I'm saying there is shit just walking around over here. Yeah, just the newbie stuff. What are you casting on? Uh, drain spirit. All right, so that should be good. So, well, this isn't going to be uh, very entertaining at all because uh, we got nothing to kill. So, I guess I'll just pause it here, and I'll just have to make, you know, add this to um, something else. It's more entertaining than this. So we're going to sit here and I don't know how long we'll do this before we get bored because uh, it is what it is. But uh, we're going to do this for a little while and then... Um, well... I don't know. Maybe we'll get a better camp or maybe I'll fast forward to another time. But for right now we're going to pause it and try to get a little bit of XP. We'll unpause it at least once to kind of update where we are. And... Um, if I find something more amusing, we'll do that. Oh, so level 44, you're cackling bones. That pet does get a life tap. Nice. That pet does proc. That's the only one. And a 49, which is the last pet we get in this expansion, is just a warrior. Oh, I fucking failed. Oh shit! He's got a sew. <laughs> mm, I got him. Dude, I fucking litched myself pretty low. Dude, this live tap has like a fucking five second cast time or something. It's so long. Life tap's a long time, yeah. So is lich too. Like, the actual like, lich spell seems pretty long. Yours is probably even longer. You're new. Life tap or whatever. These two got smoked. Had a weird encounter. I was at. Um, oh, I'm gonna kill myself too. Fuck. I went by. Oh shit. I went by a uh, wiener schnitzel, on the way home, and then I handed her my credit card through the window, and then she was like, "Oh wow, that's a heavy card," and I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just weird. Uh, I was like, why did I say thanks? I didn't, I didn't know what to say. Like, yeah, that's how much credit's on it, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, my, my, my bags are that fucking ball heavy. Weight. You know, it's one of those metal fucking cards. American yeah. Express. Yeah. yeah, I have one of those. Fuck American Amazon Express. Card. But, yeah. Mine's, it's a Visa, but, um, it's just Similarly, oh, yeah. American Express Black. You know what are really ex heavy is the fucking Apple cards. Are they? Oh, you yeah, handle so a lot Apple of cards, makes huh? an actual card too, and they're yeah. fucking heavy as shit. Credit card? They're like, yep. You know what's crazy is because it's attached to your Apple account, but you know what's crazy is uh, J this is a long time ago, like five years ago. <laughs> Was it five years ago? Uh, like four years ago, we'll say. Jason had a fucking uh, a Venmo card. 
And that shit was Damn. advanced. We went through a drive through He paid with his Venmo card, which is attached to his Venmo account. It, it prompted him on his phone that said, do you want to split this bill? And he said yes, and he picked me from his friends list, and he told it yeah. how much. So it sent me a notification on my phone, and it says, Jason's requesting you to split his bill. It's like, you know, $7.50 or whatever. And I say, okay, and I paid for my food. Oh, fuck. It was fucking crazy. And that was four years ago. I was like, holy Jeez. shit. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's, pre that's pretty fucking cool. And I don't even know anybody else who's ever had one in the last four years. They might have discontinued them at this point. All right. We are back in Steamfont Mountains. This camp opened up. And I haven't been here in quite some time. Although, it might seem to you guys like <clears throat> I was just here or I'm here a lot. It was true, for a while there I was here a lot, but then suddenly it was camped all the time when I'm on, <clears throat> and I was getting a little higher. I thought we would be done with here and kill some of the higher level, you know, dwarf guards, but now the, the dwarfs are also really camped. talking to some people here about various camps and stuff. What's up? Logic kill. It's like logical. I like it. Um, yeah, I thought we were pretty much done with these guys and moving on to the dwarves like permanently, but the dwarves are pretty tough. And um, and also they're really camped. Uh, there's a right now there's a druid quad kiting like the Bilgums and the uh Forgot the the Dundum Dundums, so the Dundums and the Bilgums are being quad kited. Uh, the other guards are being camped, and um, I'm not with my necro friend anymore. Uh, oh shoot! Uh, well, that was fine. Where am I? Okay. And uh, we went off to sell, and so we didn't med since we went to sell right now. So then when I got back, I didn't have any mana. And then um, somebody had showed up. It's actually Logic Kill who I'm talking to. And the mob spawned. And I was coming back from selling and I wanted to like assert my, you know, camp and just be like, just to make sure it was known like that I'm camping these. So I engaged a little early. And uh, all right, there's that guy. So we'll wait here for the other guard you should spawn soon and so I engaged a little early and so I've been trying to re recuperate since then that was just like a minute ago I've been talking to him I let him know that you know I'm 80% into my level and when I ding I'm gonna uh, skedaddle I do want to go check out the the grob guards again uh, from the beginning of the video there's this barbarian's been in there for a while it's level 50 barbarian now <clears throat> there's a lot of different guards in there the issue is uh, like where are you gonna set up camp in there? I'm not I, ha I have no experience in there besides what I was doing earlier in the video Which I was able to kill a few and I I did resort to root rotting You know because there's just no space to kite around uh, But it is it is really really tough and really dangerous to try to figure it out But I'd like to figure it out now. I was told um, You know that you know a lot of people go there a little higher so obviously that guy's 50 he's probably just farming raw cash or whatever um where you know i'm trying to i'm trying to get levels and farm cash at the same time a little little double dip but uh the other guy that was there was telling me that people usually don't start going there until like their mid 40s and I was, I'm 42, so. But I do get new spells at 44. And this is a good uh, segue. We get these spells here. We have Dead Man Floating, which is researched. And we have Cackling Bones, which is also researched. Oops, I let it run a little long. Snare might break before he uh, gets twenty percent. Let 
But um, the reason I bring those out, you see in the second chat box here, hail, <clears throat> hail Kalmathar, and he hails me back, is Cal Kalmathar hooked it up, the homie. The longtime viewer, nice dude in the community, views a lot of people who put, put out videos and stuff. And uh, he's a level 50 Necro. And he, um, he came by and he dropped me off those two research spells. So super awesome. Very nice. Very helpful. Uh, I haven't... They're pretty expensive spells. And I haven't really um, had the time to uh, sit there and camp the EC tunnel. And every time I'm there for a little bit here or there when I'm passing through, I haven't seen them selling. Um, so definitely a time saver, a money saver, and just a big time convenience from the homie Kalmathar. So thank you for that. We are ready to go as soon as we ding level 44, which is not this next ding, but the one after. We could just go and buy the store-bought spells. We'll have the research spells, and we'll be up and running. And at that point, I think I'm going to return to Grob. And we're going to try to take on those, take on those troll guards. Um, because once again, um, I showed this in the in the earlier part of the video, but it's a lot of cash. They drop those same swords as the sisters do, which are like 10 plat. They drop the necklace, which is 1.6. They drop the shield, which is 1.2. Um, they had a, for, for my short experience there, like two out of three were dropping fine still. It was crazy. I don't know if they can keep that up. Um, or if, you know, if that's just like good RNG for a, a small window of killing them, but it really seemed like they just drop a ton of, uh, fine steel. And then they can also drop research stuff, which as you can see, I'm like loaded up with research pages. I got a, where are we? We got a, we got some in the main bag. This ba we pretty much got another bag full and then another one. So I got to go. I just haven't had time. I got to go to um, every time I get in, I try to I try to get some leveling done. But I got to go uh, to the EC tunnel and kind of check out P99 and see what's what and see what's worth keeping and what's worth just vendoring. And then uh, try to sell off some of the some of the ones, because as you know, the pages that drop for you at your level, I got to take the off the pages that drop for you at your level are typically, you know, stuff that you already have or, or whatnot, like, you know, your level, like, for instance, a level 44 pet that I was given, for sure, I haven't really, I haven't killed anything that's dropping, you know, <clears throat> pages that are useful for that spell. You got to kill higher level stuff. So by the time you kill the stuff that drop the pages that you need, you know, you're already past the level of which you would have gotten the spell if you bought it or whatever I'm trying to say. I don't want to get the 44 pet at like 47 is what I'm trying to say. You know, you want it right at 44 when it's the most useful and you feel the most powerful and you can level the fastest, right? So that's all I'm trying to say, I guess. So let's see here. Uh, nothing new gear wise. We really haven't bought too much. We got our spawn. So we're just going to keep at it. Uh, it was a good sesh with the with the necro friend. I really enjoyed that. Um, okay. For a second, I thought he resisted. It's actually super easy double duoing necros. I mean, you know, he resists my snare, but then he can land a snare. Vice versa, he resists his snare. I can land a snare. Our spells aren't getting in each other's way. Everything is just stacking. Um, it's quite powerful, to be honest. And it's very easy. <laughs> it's very, it's very chill. You could just sit in Discord and talk, and, and shoot the, you know, shoot the shit and just chill. And it's, it's really, it's really nice actually. He kind of regrets, and he may have said this. I don't know what I recorded or not, or what's making it into the video or not. But he had said he wished that he made a shaman because uh, back in the day, not back in the day, but like quite a few years ago, we we had a. A combination necro shaman i was a necro he was a shaman and and we just had it we had so much fun we had we did a, we did a ton of stuff we duoed a ton of stuff um and it was just a lot of fun and so he kind of regrets not making he enjoys the necro but he, he kind of regrets you know not having because even though it's easy and, and we're killing stuff you know it'd be nice to have a slow nice to have a a, a so it'd be nice to have 
a, um, uh, haste for the pets. I mean, we have our own haste, really, and so that probably doesn't st stack. But, like, um, different buffs and stuff. You know, all the buffs that shamans bring is what I'm getting at. A heal, like a nice, legit, efficient heal and stuff like that. Shamans are just, uh, they're just a good time. But, you know, I reminded him that <clears throat> this is a long server. We got we got a, we got a lot of time going by on the server and plenty of time to make an alt. You know, obviously I'm working on the ranger. And it's plenty of time to get to 50 and to start an alt and probably get that alt to 50 prior to Kunart coming out as well. Now, if you wanted an Ixar Shaman, which I don't think he does because he and I are both Ogre Master Race, so he probably wants to make an Ogre Shaman, but if he did want to make an Ixar Shaman, he could wait for, for a Kunark, and then that could be like a Kunark character. But I think he'll probably, after getting 50, I kind of have a feeling he'll make a Shaman, an Ogre Shaman, um, which I would love to do, but I have one on P99 currently, and I want to finish that up at some point. Um, so I'm not looking to make a shaman. Unfortunately, as much as I love shaman, I'd like to be playing one right now. I'm kind of, <clears throat> you know, digging on this server right now. Right now it's fresh and everything. p 99s through its patch, you know, patches, and it'll be there. P99 will be there. We'll we'll get back and we'll get that we'll get that guy done. But uh, I guess there's just no there's no sense of urgency there. There's really no sense of urgency here, but there's more so than say P99. Because P999, like I said, is done. And I just want to get established here, which may take some time, but there's so much stuff I want to do, and there's just so little time in life, right? Um, I was just talking to um, another guy who called us... I don't know, it's probably it's way back there. I'm never going to find it. Um, but give me one second, and I can figure it out. I'm really bad with names. Um, unless I've seen it a lot. <laughs> but let's get this guy dotted and get some... Get some range on him. We did go and get the, uh, the Necro. Bag of Sony Evil Eye and, uh, Monorock. Just to have. We got ourselves a Monorock, too. I don't think I ever showed that. But what am I doing? Um... Draxes. So uh, Draxes did a CC. I called, you know, these guys, of course. <clears throat> and uh, and then he asked if I was, you know, the guy from YouTube. And I said, yeah. And then we got to talking. And he's playing a solo self-found character, I believe he said. And he was telling me I need to start, like, some sort of, you know, some sort of rule set character. And I agree. I do want to do that, um, you know. There's just, like I said, only so much time. So we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish the necro first and foremost. And by finish, I mean just get him to 50, which is temporary. It's not like he's finished. There's still a bunch of stuff we want to do at 50. There's still 50 to 60, which is you know a few months from now. But it'll come pretty quick. And we want to be ready for that. <clears throat> Probably join a guild at 50 and see if there's any kind of guild stuff I can get into here or there. Um. It'll be interesting now with the uh, with the with the AOCs that they have, or the instance the instance zones that they instance raid zones that they have. So now uh, raiding got a little more sweaty, or a little less sweaty. I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. <laughs> but it's a little more. There's a little more obligation with it if you're not in a Batphone guild or something. Uh, just in the sense that you know. All the guilds raiding are probably full-time raiding guilds at this point, since there's the, you know, they can raid whenever they'd like. So, I don't know. I got to figure that out. That's still up in the air. Uh, but also, we're going to continue to work on the ranger. We're going to give the ranger a little more time once uh, once this guy gets to 50. And I don't know how quickly I want to start um, an, an, another character, really. Um like I said, I wouldn't mind going back to P99, uh, just, you know, once every couple of weeks, maybe just get like one good session in every couple of weeks, maybe get, maybe get the mage to get on his mage and, and mage and shaman duo like once every two weeks for a, a few hour block or something, you know, and just make progress. And eventually a few months down the line, 
you know, we'll get him to we'll get him to 60, and that'll feel good. Um, but also, outside of that, I do want to make a character that's a, from a rule set. Uh, you know, a lot there's when it comes to Diablo, and if I ever play World of Warcraft at this point, ever even before hardcore uh, came out, I was playing hardcore for three years prior to the actual official rule set coming out. I was playing the the you know. Kind of like Level Up Larry was doing, where it's just the, um, what do you call it? Uh, like the honor system, you know? You know, if you, it's a personal challenge. You know if you died or not, and there's no reason to cheat yourself. It's not like, you know. So I was doing that for three years before they came out with the official version, and then that's kind of where I disappeared uh, from YouTube for a couple months because um, I was checking out Diablo 4, and then Hardcore WoW came out, and I was playing Hardcore WoW as well. Um, but then Quorum came out, <laughs> and I was just like, oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff going on. What am I going to do? And I I left Hardcore WoW because, you know, I got a good, I got some good sessions in. So I, I came back to uh, EverQuest to play Quorum. And, well, what I'm getting at is I like to play Hardcore modes of stuff. Now, EverQuest, EverQuest is interesting for Hardcore. Uh, as you know, I die a good amount of times, you know, and obviously I'd have a different play style. That's really what it is. It's about knowing your play, you knowing what's at risk. Uh, what did I not cast? Boil blood. That's, that's why when it comes to, okay, let's talk about WoW again, like we do in every episode. I don't know. Um, but when it comes to hardcore, you know, hardcore World of Warcraft is not, is not very hard. It's all about uh, game knowledge, knowing knowing as much as you can about the game. You know the zones, know the mobs, know what does what, when it does it. The more you know, the easier it is, right? And then you have to be in the mindset of, I have to pay attention if I'm not going to pay attention, if I'm tired, if I'm drinking, if I'm whatever. Don't play, or play a different character, or just don't play, whatever it is. You just have to be on your shit, and you have to have the game knowledge, and you have to know you're playing hardcore and and be be careful. Don't do risky stuff all the time. Sometimes risky stuff is fun, right? That's that's where content creators will go create content or whatever. They'll do risky stuff, stuff they shouldn't be doing. Um, and then when they pull it off, it's very exciting, very cool. You look good. So there is there is a place for that, um, for sure. But. Uh, if you just want to get the achievement and play it safe and get and get to the spot and then maybe at max level you'll do some risky stuff, you know, that's definitely a style. You just have to have to know. So, if I was if I was playing hardcore on EverQuest, I'm not going to willy-nilly do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'd probably play a shaman. Get so really nice and <laughs> nice and early. But uh and the ability to solo, you're gonna want to, because I want to, I kind of want to do SSF HC, and so I think a shaman is like probably one of one of the one of the top SSF HCs. If you're gonna play a melee, like if you're gonna play a rogue, even a wizard, I understand they can solo, but you might you're probably gonna die. You don't have so. But if you are gonna play uh, like a sort of some sort of melee, you're gonna want to have friends that are also doing it. Uh, if you don't have any friends playing hardcore, or you don't have any pl friends playing, maybe not solo self found, obviously, but um, they, I think they have self found. That's not solo self found. So doing like self found, um, you're gonna want to have friends and people you can group with and stuff like that. Uh, if you're a melee, you're just not gonna. You can do it. Um, I mean, it's not impossible. Uh, Barthorn. A uh, guy on Twitch does a lot of uh, SSF stuff. Not necessarily, not hardcore, but SSF. And uh, he was on Hardcore WoW. Um, he was on my server, actually. I talked to him a bit. And uh, he wasn't on my server. I talked to him through Twitch, actually, is what it was. <clears throat> but um, he's done some crazy solo stuff. Uh, he's like the king of solo solo leveling characters on EverQuest. It's actually it's actually quite wild if you haven't seen the kind of stuff he does. Pretty, pretty wild. If he did a rogue, 
he did a cleric and he did a warrior i think those are his most his three most recent solo uh one to 60 on p99 solo cell found pretty wild pretty wild streams it all on twitch and all that you can go find him i'm sure you probably know who he is by now but uh, if you don't cool stuff i don't even know if he's playing right now last i knew he was playing hardcore wow but he might be back to everquest or something i haven't actually watched him in a while been busy so that's something on the plate i just ramble i sit here and ramble sometimes but <clears throat> that's you know that's something i want to do in the future is like a self-found um hardcore it doesn't have to be solo you know if one of my friends wanted to do it um then that's fine um, out of all my friends, though, I'm kind of the hardcore guy, hardcore rule set guy. Um, now, with that being said, some of my friends have tried it, especially the mage. The mage has been coming around. He's been enjoying hardcore. Um, wasn't huge on hardcore originally, but I think like I won him, won him over, because um, one, they keep putting out shit games, and so we keep going back to the same old games like Diablo and everything and playing. And then, you know, how, how many years can you can you play some of these games, right, before you do kind of burn out here and there and got to take a break? But one thing I love about Hardcore is that it kind of has built-in breaks because, I mean, you're going to die. You're going to die. It's a matter of time. And even if you make it to 50, you're going to die eventually. Everybody, everybody dies. If you keep playing, you're going to die at some point. So uh, it has a built-in break um, because it hurts when you die. And to me... That's the allure of hardcore, is everything is at risk. <clears throat> and um, and when everything is at risk, I don't know, it's just this heightened sense of awareness, heightened sense, because that, that was kind of the major thing, is where he's like, um, he gets bored because he just stops paying attention. When he's playing these games, he just stops paying attention, and then he just gets bored, and, and this is too easy, and this, that, and the other thing. <clears throat> but when it's on hardcore, you don't have the luxury of stop, you know, stop paying, you're gonna die. You can't stop paying attention. You can't, you can't be bored. <laughs> you're gonna die. And so it kind of brings this like aspect into the game that isn't always there, isn't normally there. Like I'm sure plenty of you who are playing uh, or who are watching this, you know, play EverQuest or whatever. And many of you have probably played World of Warcraft and many of you probably have the same kind of feelings as I do where there's too many quality of lives and there's too much given to you and uh, there's too much just AOEing everything solo and, and it's just super easy, you know, it's not challenging and your mind wanders and then you're bored and that's how it is and, you know, <clears throat> so the rule set brings in another angle for those of you who haven't played any sort of hardcore or anything. The rule set does bring in some other angle that really keeps you engaged and when you're engaged, you're not bored. When you're when you're disengaged, you start you start getting bored. So like that's why a lot of people don't play healers. And um, <laughs> huge appreciation for all the healers out there, uh, because you know it's like a it's a it's kind of a thankless job. Like healing can be boring. Like you know uh, you're just waiting for someone to get hurt. And if you have a really good group with really good CC and a bard that's doing regeneration all the time, and your your tank is just an absolute beast, and you're sitting there on the cleric. You're just waiting to maybe CH once a once a fight, you know, or like once every two polls or something, you know. And so you're sitting there watching Netflix or you're sitting there watching YouTube or you're doing all these different things. You're not engaged with the game because you don't have much to do. And so that's why a lot of people out there, maybe not you, you know, but a lot of people out there think healers healing is boring. That's why whenever you play a game like, again, World of Warcraft, where you have like a dungeon finder, right? A dungeon finder tool. They're rewarding healers and tanks. They're re they're rewarding uh, if you're if you're a DPS, even though there's three of you in a group, or in this case, four of you in a group, or well, we'll say once for CC. So any given group on any given game probably has like three DPS. You still have this massive wait time if you're using an automated grouping system. You know, sometimes your wait time's an hour to get in a group if you're DPS. But if you're a healer, instant queues. The second you hit, like, let's queue up, boom, you're in a group. Because there's not enough of them, because people find them boring. Um, again, maybe that's not you. Maybe you enjoy it. But I'm just saying, people out there. I'm not even saying that that's my opinion. I've healed on games. 
and you know I enjoy it. I actually healed uh, recently. On, I played uh, Wrath of the Lich King a little bit uh, when Classic came out, and I was a healer. I was a Paladin healer, and I had tons of fun. But you know, it is what it is, right? Some people feel that way, and that's why. It's because you're not engaged in into the game. So I guess I'll stop rambling at this point. Oh, what is, oh, okay. I thought that was a werewolf or something. Now that I come to think of it, werewolves do have the same model as these uh, kobolds. Well, let's go ahead and put this on. Um, bad timing, huh? What is it, a kobold emissary? What is this? A missionary. So with all of that being said, I'll move on to another part. EverQuest is an interesting game to play hardcore on. It's got to be the most hardcore <laughs> game to play hardcore on. Um, as we all know, the game is unforgiving and, uh, uh, you know, it's not easy, especially if you're doing like, a, you know, if you're soloing a lot, you get into a tight spot. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. I mean, we just saw me on, was it? I think the last video of the Necro, I was rooted by a, um, what was it? A brownie. I was rooted by a brownie and I was dotted and I just stood there and I couldn't do anything. I'm just rooted. There's nothing in range for me to, to, uh, you know, life tap or anything. And the play that I thought of a split second after was to turn Lich on so that I kill myself, hopefully probably a 50, 50 chance that I kill myself and say, and save, you know, losing XP. That was the play, but. I didn't think of that. And uh, and so, you know, I just sat there helplessly and I and I died. And so, <laughs> you know, stuff like that happens all the time in different, in different avenues of the game. Um, so this is definitely a different beast when it comes to hardcore. And that's why I've never really tried it. Even like, um, like I said, when I was playing WoW hardcore, I was for three years, I was doing on and off, not like solid, but three years on and off, I was doing, you know, the uh, honor system. I'd never even considered doing that on here. I mean, it had been brought up. Like I'm, like I said, I've seen Level Up Larry's been doing it on the honor system for a while, but I had never considered actually doing it because, like, this game is just another beast. But now you start seeing people doing it, you get a little encouragement and stuff. And even if I die, like, you know, it doesn't bother me too much. Like, of course it hurts, and that's the point, right? But I've died a lot. I've died a lot of times on a lot of hardcore characters, and so I'm not gonna like quit the game, <laughs> quit the game over it or anything. Um, sometimes you need you need a couple days to clear your head, but you know it's fine. It's fine. So I blabbed all of that over the course of probably 20 minutes. To say that eventually I'll probably do that at some point. This is going to be a long episode, I think. I don't know. It depends on how much I cut out of the duoing with the other Necro. I kind of left the, uh, unknowingly, I left the recording going. And I think <laughs> I think the video is like two hours long. That Just that part of the video. So, uh, yeah, I got to go through there. and I don't even know what I was doing. I could have been picking my nose and stuff. I have no idea. So I got to I got to go I got to watch that whole thing back and uh that's another thing you know I'm always complaining about working a lot and not having a lot of time to play and all of that stuff. You also have to I mean you don't have to but I also like and I and I use the word loosely. I also edit the videos, right? I at least go through and kind of cut out dead time and uh you know uh kind of make the transitions slightly better and add a you know a front and a back an intro and an outro and everything but um <laughs> so i use the term really light lightly i'm not i don't know how to edit really but uh you do have to watch the entirety of the video to you know make sure you you cut out different spots and this that and the other thing um so if the video is two hours guess what you have to watch it for two hours um now you can kind of multitask and like i could dad camp while i'm editing editing 
another video. You know, I could be editing a video right now while I'm dad camping these two gnomes. So you can multitask, but nonetheless, everything takes time, right? So I'm going to have to go through that uh, that two-hour segment and, and cut out me picking my nose or whatever else I might be doing without knowing it. Getting up and leaving my computer for 10 minutes and then coming back or who knows what, you know, I don't even know. So anyways, we're at 88% into the level, doing the same old gnomes, but I've been on a on a tangent here anyways, just talking, so I don't know how much gnomes we've actually been watching. But I'm going to get a little closer. I'm going to pause it here for a minute. We've seen so many gnomes over the last month or a few weeks at least. We're going to pause it here, and then I'll come back when we're closer to leveling, probably in about you know, 8% or so, and then we'll finish off the level and uh, and we'll call it a day there. And we are going to um, be dinging up to level 43 and one level away from more spells. And at that point, we're going to go check out Grob and we're going to hope to get some good work done in Grob and see just how much money we can make while we're there. All right, so we're, we're ready to finish this off. Oh. Come on, my little gnome. Spare me, brother. The little legs going so fast. All right. So we'll probably just about two rounds. One and a half, maybe, and then we'll be done. We'll get our level and we'll get on out of here. So we got quite a bit of life still. Did I miss a dot? No. Just all those resists, I guess. So I gotta get one more level. I uh, wonder what exactly what I'll do for that level before I go try the trolls again. And there's no guarantee that the trolls are even gonna, I'm even gonna be able to pull it off or get the camp or whatever. All kinds of issues could arise when it comes to that. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to check something out maybe get a guck group a lower guck group but oh man I feel like saving the grouping for the ranger or something when he's a little higher um, I could even notice the you know the big difference with even just duoing in XP when you when you get into like a full five or six person group it's a little bit rough Obviously, you're killing more stuff, but it's still a little bit rough. So we may we may leave that for the uh, for the old ranger. Although we haven't yet, but there, there'll be there will come a time for that. I don't know. I'm uh, addicted to money, but that's the plan. These gnomes have been good to me. Uh, I see people who are red to me still coming here. Um, so I'm assuming they're still dark blue. But, I mean, I think this is faster leveling than the dwarves. Because even though the dwarves are um, supposedly level 40 or whatever, they're definitely level 40 because they were... Yeah, it's weird. I, uh, the XP is so weird sometimes. They're definitely level 40, but... Because we conned them and all of that, but... Uh, you know, all the stuff that we've pointed out before in the past. 
XP just seems a little weird. But uh, they're 10 minute spawns and these are 6 minute 40 second spawns and that's a, you know, that plays a big part. These give a solid over an, over a percent. They give like an, a 1.1 like or 1.2 percent. Like we'll watch this one as he dies. As he dies. Yeah, so a solid 1.1%. So we're going to ding on the next kill. We need to put Lich on. So the 1.1% at every 6 minute 40 seconds is pretty good. The other one, the dwarves are like... One of them's like, for some reason, one of them's like 1%, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, .1, and the other one's like 2% when I'm doing that one camp that I did with the Necro. Now this is when I'm soloing it also. Um, but at they're at 10 minutes, 10 minute spawns, and they just have a crap load of life. They have so much life that it, it just takes more effort, and there's less room for error and less... Um, even though you have more time to met up, you're using essentially double the mana um, with less than double the time to med. Um, so it's a little bit tighter. Uh, they do drop better money. So there's that. I don't know. I don't I don't I feel like this is faster though. Maybe it's maybe it's the illusion uh, because it's just um, it's just easier and more comfortable. Maybe it's putting on an illusion. That it's faster. Now, um, with the with the uh, the necro that I was doing with the mage, um, back on his mage and my shaman on P ninety nine, we went in we went inside to uh, Kaladim, and you know we did a few play sessions there, a couple videos on us killing the guards inside. It's really packed there in the front though. There's like there's like five or six guards all packed all packed right into the entrance. And it was a little different then because I was slowing the guard on the necro uh, on the shaman. So if we caught aggro, we were able to you know not die immediately, which was really nice. Um, but there's no room to kite. There's a ton of guards. There's no room to kite or anything like that. So we were root rotting, really, um, if needed. Uh, our pets were tanking because we had a mage pet with shaman buffs. So we were. Uh, tanking with the with the mage pet we had the shaman pet and we were slowing the mob and then you know we were able to just take them out it was a nice little duo and there was a ton of guards like um you know we were killing five six guards something like that so that was really good and there was a bunch of axes and everything but i don't know if that's something we could do with uh with this setup we have here it would be more kills which would be nice i think we were a little bit of higher level too. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. And turn off Lich for a couple minutes here. It's about a minute until this guy spawns. A couple minutes. Alright, he's up. So this should be the one to level us. What happened there? I got him. And then it's perfect timing too, because I have company coming over and I gotta jump in the shower. They're actually on their way right now. I just got a message while waiting for this guy to spawn. Okay. So perfect timing. We'll kill these two and then I gotta go right away. These gnomes have been good to me. But at some point, we gotta let them go. We got to let them go. I really, really hope, like, the troll... I, I hope I can figure that out and get the trolls trolls to work. Um, I might actually take... I might actually take the, uh, the other necro there. Um, because I think those guards are level... 
I think they're the honestly, I think they're the same level as these gnomes. I think they're 35. They drop so much money if that's true. They might be 40, but I think they're I think I was looking it up, and maybe there are various levels. Maybe there are various levels, but I think a bunch of them are 35. So if that's true, you know, he's already higher than that. He's 37 now, so. Um, now, I don't know if he has root yet, but I bought mine in Grob, so. Boom. Bada bing, ding. We are level 43. Let's go ahead and uh, kill this last one, though. And then let's, um... Let's tell uh, Logic Killer we're done. Uh, but yeah, anyways, but I have root at least, so forget what level Necro's. Necro's get it at 34, so he should be able to get it too. He could pick it up right there and grab. Oh, he hit me. He was hanging out just in Akanon, killing some some of the what? killing some of the guards inside. Uh, so yeah, so if we have root, we could root rot until we clear it out. That actually, that's the play. Okay, this is the play. I got to get in there with the necro, uh, buddy, and then together. We can root rot the whole front area, and then once we clear it out, then we can then we can kite more with the pets. And once it's once it's fully cleared, we can kite everything. Um, it's a really nasty freaking area in there. There's like no you can't see anything. There's water. There's bridges. There's nowhere to freaking like clearly run and see your target and stuff like that what happened he died so he still gave me 1.1 percent it seems or well it's hard to tell i guess i don't know where we left off but anyways that really seems like the play i hope to do that go in there with the neck the other necro and clear it out and hold it down that sounds like a good time so um that's what we're gonna shoot for we're gonna shoot to do that i gotta get i gotta jump in the shower so we will see you in the next video